This is Sophie Heller, and this is an ACT reading question. This question is asking you to make an inference and talk about what the critic here is most particularly upset by in his description of modern poetry. So this description of modern poetry occupies the first six lines of the passage. And he's really, he's really upset at the way the modernists um, try to reduce poetry to a mere fusion of natural sensibility, so something that he'll go on to say that Shakespeare does not do, and what is worse. Okay, so the fact that what is worse is going to tell you um, the most, the thing that he most finds fault with, so what it, what he's um, most particularly upset by. So that it, um, the modern poetry, the modern poets, divest it both of imaginary splendor and human passion, so they don't have this human passion. And they surround the meanest objects with the morbid feelings and devouring egotism of the writer's own mind. So here's where we, wa we want to really look. So let's look at our answer choices. Our first choice is morbid feelings. So he does object to the morbid feelings, but it's the idea of the morbid feelings coupled with this devouring egotism. So I would argue to say that the egotism is the worst thing that these writers are doing because... Not only is it egotism, it's devouring e egotism, so it's all-consuming. So I would say that egotism is better than morbid feelings, so let's get rid of morbid feelings. Um, choice number two is egotism. That's probably going to be right, but let's come back to it. So our third choice is human passion, but he's not upset by the modernists having human passion. He says that they divest it of human passion, so to divest something means to take it away. So they have, they um, get rid of all the human passion in the poetry. So he's not upset with that. And intolerable loathing is not mentioned here. So that's not about the modernists. Egotism is going to be the best answer because it's devouring. It's obviously something that the author of this passage is not pleased about. So let's go with egotism.